Hi, I'm Donovan from RV on the Wayside. I bet you're here to see how to light a green screen. You came to the right place. And I hope you stick around, because I'd like to show you how to do your own invisibility cloak. And I might even show you how to float some things. Start off, my normal lighting, as you can see here, I have 45 degree light left on my desk. Then I have a snoot light over on the right to catch the side of my face. Then I also have a Hugo light so I can change my tan or the color of my skin if I choose to. And I use two lights from the ceiling fan above just to give me a little more depth. Not everyone is gonna have a professional photographer like Mark from the Art of RVing YouTube channel. Come over and set up your lighting. And you don't need all this fancy lighting to do live streams or use your green screen. I just wanted to be upfront about how this is set up. Before you start worrying about what kind of lighting you need on your green screen, the most important thing is to think about the distance between your subject or your object and the green screen. The further you are, the easier it is to light your green screen. I happen to be very close when I do mine. I can actually reach my green screen from here. So keep that in mind when I'm talking about the lighting. The next most important thing you have to know is having a smooth green screen and not having shadows showing up is how you know you've got a good lighting system set up. It's great if you can get a pole with a bunch of cheap clamp lights with the little fluorescent bulbs on them, all the same color and the bright white colors. That will do wonderful for you if you can put those on either side. And remember when you set up your lighting for your green screen, the light should not show on your object or your subject at all. Like in my situation, they need to hit the back of my chair because I got a green blanket over it so I can hide that and behind me. You don't want any light hitting you that's used for your green screen if you can help it. And what you'll see is sometimes I do have a slight shadow but it rarely ever shows up on screen. And then the last thing that you really need to care about is uniformity of color. As you can see they're a little darker here in the corners and in these corners and they're slightly a little bright here and there. I chose these LED flexible lights for my poles because I wanted to catch the chair behind me and kind of get it tied in with the color behind it so that you won't see the chair. There are some apps out there for your phone that will detect these color changes. It'll help you notice the hot spots and the dark spots. All you do is you hook your phone up onto a tripod, you put it right where your camera is going to be and it'll do gray or green depending on what setting you have. The one I use is green screener. It costs a little bit of money, but I didn't mind paying for it. And you can see the difference. Here's one that shows where I've got some problems. And then here's one that shows the halo around my head. And that lets you know you've got a good uniform color around your subject. That'll give you the best results of your green screen. The last thing you want to do is go through a whole bunch of editing in post-production. You want to get it right the first time. So to recap our list, the distance between your subject or object and the green screen should be your first thing to determine. The next thing is to make sure your green screen is smooth and that you're not casting any shadows on it. Always keep the light behind you. Make sure your green screen lighting is not affecting your face or appearance. And right before you shoot, double check that your lighting has uniformity of color around your subject or object. As I'm making a wardrobe change for the next scene, I will be putting the links for Amazon for all the things that I tried to show you here today. Now, what about that invisibility cloak? Don't be fooled by imitations or knockoffs. There is only one. If you want to truly be unseen, you have but one choice. George, wake up! I think somebody's downstairs and they're trying to steal my crystal pineapple. Operators are no longer standing by. Our return policy is to give no refunds. Run! Hey, I'm so glad you came. Shameless plug. These are our shirts. <laughs> this about concludes our show for the day. 
Hey, go on. I, just, I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but we don't need that right now. Uh, I just want to let everybody know that uh, we are planning. Are you trying to tell me something? Hmm. Oh, you want me to push a button? Now? I was trying to talk about our clothes. All right, I, I guess. Here we go.